Throughout the manga medium, there are a lot of experimental manga diving into a plethora of themes and depressing subject matter, but this manga that I'm going to talk about today is completely different and honestly terrifying. And what I'm talking about is none other than Inyo Asano's Dead Dead Demons Did the Destruction. There you go, I said the name. But just so you know, that's probably the last time I'm going to call it by its official name in this video, because as you can imagine, it's just such a chore to say it every single time. Now, in case you didn't know, Inyo Inyo Asano is also the creator of famous manga Oyasumi Pun Pun. You know, the manga that's so depressing it makes everyone quit reading manga forever. Now, what is this manga about? I'm sure most of you guys watching this now have never heard of this and are probably not that interested as much, but bear with me for a second. Demon's Destruction is a story about two girls casually living their lives in Japan by either going to school, playing video games, or just hanging around. Well, the thing is, a spaceship randomly lands on Earth and no one knows why what or how it happened. So yeah, months go by and the spaceship still hasn't moved from above the sky and now while you would imagine that the story would revolve around this mysterious spaceship and how it got there, that's actually not the case at all. And in a classic Inyo Asano fashion, you follow these characters instead and how they live their lives knowing that there's a spaceship above their heads. You're basically following these characters and how they react and what they think to this random event. And of course, there are a lot of political implications and a bunch of other stuff tackled in this, but don't worry, it's not as convoluted as it seems. The manga has exactly 100 chapters and it tells the story from start to end and I would honestly even go ahead and say that it's perhaps one of the best Inyo Asano works I've ever read. Now it is pretty similar to Oyasumi Pun Pun in the sense that it's very extreme and abstract in its presentation, but one difference that I believe to be an advantage for Demon's Destruction is the improved art style of the author himself. Not to say that his art style in Asumi Pun Pun wasn't amazing, but it's been over 7 years, so of course there's going to be some sort of improvement to his art, and all I'm saying is that it shows. The expressions of the characters and the thin line work of the backgrounds, they all show how much he has improved over the years, and I'm really happy to see this is his first adapted work. Now the studio that is going to adapt this is Production Plus H, which is once again not that well known. Their portfolio is pretty empty, as they are a pretty recent studio, having been founded only in 20 2020 by a production IG employee called Fuminori Honda. While this is the studio's first proper anime and despite some people having doubts, if you just look at the teasers and the promotional videos, it seems like they are handling this anime fairly well. Everything looks polished from the character acting to the photography and just the animation sequences overall. It gives you this really neat aesthetic that seems pretty on point with the tone of the story as well. And it just looks pretty. The score is another aspect I noticed from the trailers and I feel like it's really fits the setting of the story itself. I mean, it's set in a very modern and similar time period to us and the music has a bit of a futuristic feel and I think it's perfect. Not to mention that the theme song will be performed by TK, the same band that did the theme song for stuff like Tokyo Ghoul, Psychopaths or even the Chainsaw Man ED. Now let's talk more about the adaptation which I think is to be released a bit later on or at least for us overseas because it has been confirmed that it will be released as a two-part movie. The first movie is to be released in late March and the second exactly a month afterwards. Now there are two things wrong with this and the first thing is obviously the fact that we aren't going to see it for like half a year or so. Since it's going to air in Japan mostly and we have little to no confirmation of any US licensing companies taking it, so I think it's pretty safe to say that there's no chance of a simulcast. But the second reason of worry, which I think is more important, is the pacing. Listen, the manga is 100 chapters and although they were released weekly, meaning that they are only 18 to 20 pages per chapter, it is still a lot for two movies. Heck, the movies could be three hours each and they still would have a very hard time adapting everything. It's just crazy to adapt that much in such little time. And they also confirmed not too long ago that the first movie is going to be about two hours or so, which is even more concerning. They are most likely going to breeze through most of this content and skip a lot, but nonetheless, I still think it's worthy just checking it out when it releases sometime later this year. Now, this was it for today. If you found this video interesting, make sure you hit the like button and maybe even the subscribe button because that helps the channel a lot more than you think. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on Demon Destruction. Are you going to watch it or are you just going to stick to the manga? Thanks again for watching this video till the end. See you guys next time. Later.